I, you know, I did those, I think, for a TV series in Sweden. Um, but, but yeah, when uh, when I started working on, on that project, it felt like a big, big thing for me. I I'd never tried it before, and I'm a very slow writer, so I was like, uh, yeah, I can't say no to this. And so I said yes, even though I didn't feel like I had the time. <laughs> But, uh, but it was it was really nice to collaborate with uh, Ben Stiller and Teddy Shapiro. Because Teddy Shapiro has done so many <coughs> films and so many comedies, and super he's super talented. So so just sort of being his sidekick, <laughs> that's uh, that's why it, it felt like um, he would uh, basically compose uh, melodies and, and guitar things that I would record, and, and uh, also with the original music, the the two songs that. The, come with the film. Uh, I didn't write them either, so, so, it, so in a way it was pretty easy, but before we found that way of collaborating, it, it took a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, so those two songs, I, I didn't write them or produce them, so they were basically, they just used me. <laughs> and to be honest, they're, they're not really my style. Uh, but in a way, they, they found inspiration in the music from uh, Junip, my, uh, which is way more bombastic than my solo. Style and uh, and they just tweaked it to, to their taste basically. But uh, it was uh, Ryan Adams who uh, wrote uh, Stay Alive and uh, Craig Waldron who wrote uh, Step Out uh, together with Terry Shapiro. Yeah. I I learned a lot about how to set moods with uh, chord progressions and uh, and uh, and also just get comfortable in in studios where you produce a lot. Um, I mean, I did that with Junip too, but here it was in a very sort of uh, professional setting. So, uh, so I think I, I, yeah, I learned a lot, and I and I also I think I used it a bit when I was uh, working with the string theory, where you have to listen to the whole orchestra and see if being take more of a producer role. I don't know, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> because there are so many ways to to. Uh, or so few ways, like you just write music and, and uh, when it gets in the hands of the uh, right person at the right time, that's when it, it might click. So, uh, I don't know, hanging around LA or not hanging around LA and working on your music without thinking about it, that might be the best way. <laughs>